Okay, we are gonna be using some tape called washi tape. You're gonna take a little part of your, we're gonna find the end, and we are just going to cover the edges of our washi tape, of our paper with washi tape. And then this is where the fun part goes. Okay, so we're kind of creating a border. Oh, oh there was my paper, my water. So we're kind of creating a border. And then on the inside, I want you to put a few lines down on the inside. Okay, so now we've got our border created. Now I want you to take, and you can do as many of these lines as you want, but I, simplicity. I just want you to get used to mixing the colors and using the brush. And we're just gonna put random lines. Like mine are just gonna go back and forth like this. Nothing crazy. We're not learning any like crazy awesome new brush strokes yet. That'll be coming up. But I just want you to learn this paper or um, learn the color. Now I want that to go more like this. So we're gonna adjust. And you can use any thickness of washi tape you want. I think that's a fun word to say, washi, washi. Please give me some washi. Okay. And here you go. Oh, that one's a little Luckily, this tape is very forgiving and will reseal, so we're just gonna pull it up and redo it. Okay, so now we have our pattern. This kinda could go in a, fun di a few fun different ways. So I'm going to take a bigger brush, probably the smaller of my brushes, one of these. Everyone should have um, these brushes available to them. So I'm going to take that brush probably, re-wet everything because it does dry relatively quickly. And I'm going to take this brush, I'm going to get a little wet, and then I'm just going to start with one color. So I'm going to start with, oh, that's not the brush I wanted. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in there. Um, is that the, yeah, that's the one. So I'm going to start with red, and I'm just going to start here at the top. I'm gonna write a line, a red line down. Then I'm going to grab some red and orange and mix it on the palette. And I'm gonna go through and create, I'm gonna pick up some more yellow. And if you can see, I'm just going back into that puddle and I'm just adding more colors to it. So I'm creating a gradient of color and then when I want the full spectrum of color I'm going to get it wet clean it out a little bit and then I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to keep going down actually I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to put green right next to it and we're just going to go down the color wheel we are creating a fun so I want more green in this, so it's darker. Just a fun gradient piece. And if you don't like your strokes, just go back in there, get your brush wet and clean, and then come back and straighten up your strokes. Like make them thicker, smoother. That one actually didn't get all the way clean, but it'll be a full, it'll be fun, it'll be a gradient. Nope, oh, still gonna stay green. Okay, and now you're just gonna do this all the way down the paper. So I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna do blue, a little bit of purple, more blue.
Okay, now we're done. So you're gonna let it dry for a minute and then we're just gonna pull the washi tape off and you're gonna have a fun um, activity that you can do when you feel like you're stuck but you wanna watercolor, mix the colors together and have some fun and playing with what you've got going. So I will show this to you when it is dry. All right, see you guys next week.